Hey there, I've prepared three hilarious Japanese internet threads for you today. First, a guy was bored at 3 a.m. and decided to start a contest to see who could be the cutest girl with a face swap app. I'll go first, he wrote. Not bad, not bad. Hey, that's nice of you. Yeah, you're all right. The bar was set. Would anyone be able to beat his newfound female form? Well, yeah, and it happened pretty fast. This was post number 11. The first guy replied, saying, Wow, you win. Is there anyone cuter than me? How are you so cute? Your pose is just too strong. I can't beat a pose like that. Another brave man rose to the challenge. The first poster replied again, saying that he finds this person the most beautiful yet. Yeah, that's what he said. What is this creepy thread? Post 37 brought another competitor. I look like a Pocahontas woman. All right. Pocahontas woman is Japanese internet slang that refers to a specific type of woman who lives abroad, even for a very short period of time, then comes back to Japan and begins to display these characteristics. Long black hair, heavy makeup, especially around the eyes, always brags and talks about their experiences abroad, always talks about how foreign countries are better, and complains about Japan. Why are you wearing that Pac-Man hoodie? Sorry, but I laughed. Okay, I tried again. It's a bit better. For 3.40 a.m., your makeup is on point. You give off American vibes. Said our next challenger. I kind of look like my sister. You're actually cute. You look like a tanuki-type girl. A girl with a cute round face that looks friendly. Give me your sister. You look like Teramoto Rio. This is the most YouTube-appropriate picture I could find of her. You look like a small animal. Suddenly, poster number 56 came in with a concern. If you post your girl picture, and then someone runs it through the same face app to make it into a guy, your original picture will come out and your real face will be exposed to everyone. Oh my god. I tried it, but I just got a hot bearded guy. Our Pocahontas Pac-Man sweater friend tried it too. Did his original picture come out? Nope. Look how handsome I am. Oh no, now you know what I look like. You're too hot. Oh no, he's hot! LMAO, if that's what you really look like, no wonder you turned out like Pocahontas. Still, some people were concerned about their privacy. I touched it up a bit, so the guy version doesn't have my face. I changed the background too, because I don't want you guys to see it. Not bad. Pretty cute, actually. You look like the kind of girl that if I broke up with you, you'd stab me from behind. You're like the cute kind of Western Japanese girl. Over the next few hours, tons of people posted their pictures. I gave it a shot. The glasses are unfair. You're my type. Reply 161 said, There are too many cute people here. But he didn't know who was about to show up in the next post. This was post number 162. Look at me. N -n no way. If he didn't cheat somehow, he's got to be the winner, right? What a high tier face. You're really, really cute. Too cute. Marry me. Look at me now. What about me? You look like a doll. Post 360 came in to tell everyone who the real winner was though. It's this fake biker girl. If you don't know, this 50 year old Japanese biker guy fooled the internet by using face app to transform into a young beautiful woman, netting him tens of thousands of followers. Who do you think won? Do you have similar taste to the Japanese guys in the thread? Personally, I agree that the top left girl is the cutest. The next funny thread I found was a compilation of the biggest gotcha moments in Two Channel's history. Here are the best ones. I drive a Lamborghini Murcielago. When my girlfriend slammed its door at full power, that's when I decided it was time to break up with her. Hey, Lamborghini Murcielago have electric doors. Yeah, she went out of her way to stretch out her arm and use all her strength to slam it shut. I was lying about the electric doors. Actually, this one is so famous that it's been made into a comic. Why, Lamborghini Murcielago nori, kanojo no furupa wa hei ni wakare o ketsui. Ha 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 ha. 
フルパワー、笑わせないで。知らないのね。ランボルギーニのドアは、電動なのよ。え、電動なのに、わざわざ腕伸ばして自力でフルパワー兵器かましてきたんや。電動は嘘よ。Oh, recording that was like a try not to cringe challenge. This next thread requires a bit of context. In Japan, people often carry and use metro cards. There are two major cards in Tokyo, Suika and Pasumo. But most regions have their own card too. You can charge these cards basically anywhere and use your balance not just for train rides, but also for purchases, including at convenience stores. Here's the thread. Lol at people who have more than 10,000 yen on their Suika. What if your card has an error? Then you're screwed. Heh, <laughs> I usually keep mine charged with like 100,000. It's not like I'm poor or something. Suika's balance limit is 20,000 yen. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I actually use Pasmo. Bro, Pasmo's limit is also 20,000 yen. Stop the cap. <laughs> Honestly, I'm also the kind of guy that loves to charge out my Ikoka, which is the Osaka card, with at least 10,000 yen and use it everywhere. Even if it does get an error or if you lose it, there's a procedure to get your balance back. The context for this next one is that at the time, the two channel news board had a feature where it would display what area the person was posting from. But on this specific day, the feature was broken. Man, these small town losers are gonna get all full of themselves now that you can't see everyone's location. That location feature is unnecessary. Are you scared, hillbilly? But just as he posted this, the location feature started working again. Even worse, it revealed that he was posting from Tottori, the least populated prefecture in Japan. Oh no, it came back at the worst possible time. By the way, did you know that in this place, Tottori, they have massive sand dunes and camels? I kind of want to go, to be honest. I mean, imagine riding a camel in Japan. My friend thinks I'm a psychopath. I'm starting to get scared of myself. I heard that psychopaths recognize people by their gestures and behavioral patterns. Also, they're sensitive to color changes apparently. Are you like that too? Definitely. I remember I once got a really high score on a color recognition test. Oh, really? I just made all that up on the spot. But I guess it fits you, huh? The final thread is a hilarious story about trolling someone who's sitting in your reserved seat on a train. So, I finally did it. You know how there's reports of people sitting in other people's reserved seats? Well, it finally happened to me. My seat was on the aisle side, and there was a guy, probably in his late 50s, sitting in my reserved seat. At first, I politely told him that's my seat and showed him my ticket, but he wouldn't budge, saying there were other empty seats available. He had put all his stuff on the window seat, too. He wouldn't move no matter what I said, so I pulled out my secret plan that I had prepared for this situation. I silently sat down on the guy's lap, and pretty deep, too. The guy was yelling from underneath me, What the hell are you doing? But in my mind, I was thinking, this is a warm, soft, talking chair. I completely ignored his complaints. Eventually, the conductor came by and I proudly showed my ticket. The guy yelled, Get this guy off of me! But I just smiled at the conductor and said, He wouldn't move no matter what I said, so I had no choice but to sit on him. Don't worry about it. But being a conductor and dealing with passenger trouble, he did end up making the guy move. Honestly, I felt kind of gross from the guy's body heat, but I still think I did the right thing. Well, that's all the threads I have for you today. By the way, remember in my last video when I did the Shaggy impression? Can be a fool, son. What about the long run? <laughs> I bet you didn't expect to hear that in this video. Well, my Discord bullied me into doing a whole verse. I'll warn you that it's very cringe, but I've put it for free on my Patreon. Link in the description. Thanks for watching, and thanks to my patrons, including Tier 3's Jason the Artist and Ethan Campbell. See you next time.